Yes, great work, lads. Experience the amazing live atmosphere of AFL up close at Australia's best venue. When together, we take on Port Adelaide at Metricon Stadium. See Gary Ablett, Carmichael Hunt and the rest of the boys take it up to Port in a battle for four points. Oh, yes. Saturday, May 26, 2.10pm at Metricon Stadium. Tickets at Ticketmaster. Striding over the top to Mundy. DeBoer's his next target and he spots him. But he threads it back too far. Oh, Spoil from Bock. Solid attack and he he's saw when he himself. went down. I think he's hurt his right ankle. And he oh, was in, he's trouble. in trouble. Absolutely in trouble. Just in, in Nathan was very unlucky. He uh, suffered a, a fracture of his tibia and uh, was in a contest in the air, which is a, an unusual mechanism for them to happen. Uh, you've seen within the AFL, a lot of it is usually when the player's foot's planted and someone falls across their lower leg and uh, it's got nowhere to go where it, and it snaps, but his was the other way around. Right leg into his uh, doctor's opponent here. Matt DeBoer. Matt DeBoer. Oh, that's moved yeah. far too much. Yeah. I think that's a big fracture. Yeah, obviously, uh, straight after the incident, or probably even during, um, yeah, I sort of realised that done something quite serious. Um, yeah, I knew that it was more than probably just a knock on the shin. With the operation had done on the Sunday, following uh, obviously the Saturday's game, and um, surgeon went in and uh, inserted a 40 centimetre rod into the tibia um, and a few screws to obviously hold it in place. Because of the nature of the fracture, he's got an oblique fracture, which is quite stable. Uh, and the plan is from the orthopedic surgeon at this stage, is within the first four to six weeks that he'll he'll be able to what we call partial weight bearing and start toe touching and putting a bit of uh, weight uh, on the leg to help that bone heal. And after that, obviously, it'll be a pretty slow build up um, until it can get back to obviously walking and then running. So by the start of pre-season um, next year, I think uh, you know hopefully I'm up back back running and uh, close to full training. So yeah, I'm very confident that uh, you know all going well. I should be should be right for the start of next year.